Hey everyone, how are you? And if you are new to my channel, then welcome. My name is KCV, and today's video is going to be a PR unboxing. I have all of the PR that I've been receiving for the past couple months behind me. So we're gonna go through all of this, but really quickly, I wanted to thank you guys for participating in my poll. I know I spoke about this in my last video, but I'm going to be talking to you guys through the community part of my channel, which if you actually go on to my channel and go to the community section, you should be able to see my post there. Um, so I actually posted a poll and I asked you guys what you wanted to see and a good majority actually said that they wanted a PR unboxing. So that is why you guys are getting this video. Um, I'm going to try to do those polls probably weekly so that I can decide my videos and you know what you guys want to see. You guys can communicate with me through there as well. I know not everyone actually gets my notifications whenever I post on there. Um, pretty much if you are subscribed to my channel and you click the post notifications, which is the little bell next to the subscribe button, if you're subscribed, it should show up there. Um, you should be getting the notifications for those posts, but I have had a few of you tell me that you don't get notified whenever I post on there, so I'm not entirely sure how to fix that. It might be a YouTube thing. So I'm thinking whenever I post a poll there, I'll probably tweet it out as well in the future or let you guys know on Instagram or Snapchat, wherever else you actually follow me. Um, that way I can get as many people to participate in those polls as possible. I want to say this last poll got about 100 votes, so that's about 100 of you that decided this video for me, so thank you. I think doing things like that will help me improve my channel and just put out content that I know you guys would want to see. So that is why we have this video. Enough rambling because this video is going to be really, really long. If you have not hit that subscribe button, go ahead and click that down below or on the screen somewhere. That way you guys can be part of the KCV23 family. I'm so excited to be doing videos. You guys don't understand. I'm just... I'm so happy to be back, so let's just get right into this. I don't get a ton of PR, but I have brands that have been like sending me things for a while now, and I also have brands that just reached out to me recently, so I have a bunch of that stuff behind me. I'm starting off with Too Faced, which this was a really big shocker to me. They actually reached out to me fairly recently, within the last like two weeks or so. So they actually sent me the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. When I say that I have not been really on social media at all for the past couple months. I really mean it, so I really don't know what new releases are out. I haven't really been into makeup because I haven't been putting makeup on my face, so when they sent me this palette, for some reason I thought they had this already. <laughs> and I think this is like a new, this might be like a, a reborn version of something they already had. Yeah, a revamp of our iconic natural eyes, which I've never had anything like this from Too Faced before. The only ones that I've ever bought, like the only eyeshadow palettes I ever bought from Too Faced were like the holiday palettes or like the chocolate. Um, I don't even know if I have the chocolate bar. I might have the, the semi-sweet and I have the peach palette. So I've never gotten this before and I was really excited to actually get my hands on it. They revamped it. I think they like changed the formula possibly. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure. And I think they also changed the packaging. So this is what it looks like. It's just really, really cute. It's a little bubbled out and it's gold packaging. I haven't used it yet, touched it yet, or anything. Obviously in the poll that I put up, this video won, but I also had a review of this palette and also of the Physician's Formula Butter Collection Palette. Um, first impressions of this palette and the review of the Butter Collections Palette. So if you guys still wanna see those videos, I'm probably gonna put those up after this one. I don't know, let me know down below, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that because I do wanna play with this palette. This is what the palette looks like. It looks very, very pretty. I don't wanna touch it, but it smells amazing. Everything from Too Faced smells amazing. So the other thing they sent me was crazy because I've never had this done to me before, but they actually sent me their entire range of foundations. This is the Perfect Peach or Peach Perfect matte foundations that they came out with. Fairly recently, um, I know this was, it came out last year because I actually bought this. This is mine right here, but I never really got to use it or play around with it because I don't think I got the correct shade. This is warm beige and I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it just because of the shade, but now I have so many different shades to go through. I think I might be light beige. I think uh, warm beige was not correct for me or maybe I'm warm nude I don't know I have to play around and see what my 
actual shade is. This is a really great thing to have in my collection if I decide to do freelance makeup, but I have to test out the foundation first and make sure it's actually good because I haven't really... I don't have much thought on it yet, so if you guys want to see a review on this, let me know because I haven't really played around with it too much. So we'll go ahead and do that, but I was just so shocked. This, it was just amazing. Too Faced really just blew me away with this entire box of foundations. Next, I'll talk about Influencer because Influencer sent me, out of the blue, their Beauty Queen Beauty Blender box box, which came with a ton of beauty blenders. I was so happy when I got this because I was like, wow, if you don't know what influencer is, I'm pretty sure you guys should know by now because I've gotten some things from them before. It's completely free. You don't even like you don't pay for it. It's a box that anybody can actually sign up for. Um, it's a program anyone can sign up for and they send out boxes. You take a survey and then if they feel like you match with that brand then they'll send you that and all you have to do is put like reviews online you don't even have to do a review like this like i don't have to talk about it on here i can just review it online and that's fine so they sent me this box box and it came with six beauty blenders which i already opened one and i used it earlier so that came in handy because i really needed to replace mine but just the fact that all these beauty blenders came in here i was just like wow that is a lot um, so it came with six beauty blenders and then it also came with this little keep it clean cleansing mitt for fast and deep clean. It's like a little pad or mitt, I'm not entirely sure. And then a little mini of the solid cleanser, which I love. And it also came with a big version of a solid cleanser. So I'm definitely going to use this, but I think I'm going to save this possibly for a giveaway. I actually have a box down here, you guys can't see that, of giveaway items because I was planning a giveaway for the holidays and obviously that never happened and now it's five months past the holidays and I still have a box of makeup and stuff here. So keep an eye out because I might decide to do that sometime soon, maybe as a hi I'm back on YouTube type of giveaway, I don't know. But I might include this there because I have so many cleansing like mats and mitts and stuff from like Sigma. So I don't really need another one, but I'm sure this will come in handy for somebody. Okay, so next we have the brand Pop Beauty. Pop Beauty sends me things every once in a while, and they're really, really cute. They sent me highlighters a while back, and I really wanted to talk about them on the channel, but I haven't done it yet, but I love them. I use them every day. They're in my, like, everyday makeup drawer. So I might talk about them in a current favorites, like an updated favorites that I never did. <laughs> so I'll be doing that for you guys really, really soon. And I'll probably talk about them there, but they're amazing. So Pop Beauty sent me some of their brow products. So this is the little card. And it looks like there are three brow pencils and then three like brow duet powder like wax things. I think this is their entire range of the brow products, different colors. Um, there's the original Onyx, so if you have like black hair, there's Bubbly Blonde, which is just like a, a taupe, and then this one is probably mine, and that would be Classy Brunette. And I don't really use these little powder duos, so I'll definitely try it out and see. I haven't used them in forever. I used to use the e.l.f. powder duo. Wow. I wonder if any of you guys were on my channel like a subscriber when I used to use that a couple years ago because I did used to use that on videos. I don't think any of my old videos are still on my channel because they were a bit rough. Anyways, here are the brow pencils. These I'm definitely going to use because I do love brow pencils. And these are in similar shades. There's taupe blonde, natural brunette, and deep ebony. So next we're going to talk about Glam Glow and I'm so excited. Glam Glow, I think this is the second box that Glam Glow has sent me. They send me something like every once in a while and I'm just so excited because of what they sent me this time. I love this product. A lot of people love this product. It's actually very harsh for me so I can only use it every once in a while since my skin is so sensitive. But when I do use it, my skin feels super clean. You'll probably know what I'm talking about. Um, they sent me three of their, three different sizes of their legendary Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Mask. And I just love this mask so much for deep cleaning. I love the 
orange one as well the brightening mask i have that i use that often and also the hydrating those two i actually use more than this one i haven't used this in a while because i ran out they came out with a new size which is a huge size so let's just go through this real quick here's the travel size and i want to say this travel size or mini size retails for 24 dollars. remember it's kind of pricey for the little bit but it's worth it this is the normal size that you get when you buy in the store and this is $59 so 60 bucks and then this is the new size so you can see I know my camera's probably Making this super white so hopefully hopefully you can see what this looks like um, So this is what it looks like it's in a squeezy tube which I think I actually prefer because jars can be very messy and Not sanitary so I try not to put my finger in there. I have like a spatula for my masks that come in jars this big box actually retails for $80 you get 100 grams compared to the 50 grams that come in the jar so a significant more amount and it actually comes with a little brush that you can apply it if you want but since it's in a squeezy tube I would just squeeze this onto my fingers and put it on that way um, I would prefer for a jar to come with a spatula or brush but like I said I have my own that I usually use but either way these are the three sizes that you can get this super clearing treatment in and I thought that that was really cute that they sent them all to me last but not least we have pixie pixie has been sending me things for a while and I I think the last time I spoke about pixie it was a, a PR unboxing like this I want to say they had sent me a couple things I haven't even gotten to use those yet because I was saving them for a video for like a pixie first impressions or pixie beauty first impressions or like trying new makeup type video if you guys want that or maybe a one brand tutorial I haven't decided yet but I do have a ton of pixie products now that I want to test out and I've been saving to do on camera so I still haven't used those yet but they did send me a couple other things since then over the past couple months so I'll talk about that now this is the most recent thing they sent me and it is a box of it looks like their Endless Silky Eye Pencil. Then there's the Lash Line Ink Tightline Pencil. I think that's what that is. Um, there's a mascara. There is a liquid eyeliner. There's another mascara. So they just sent me like a whole bunch of their eye liner type products. Okay, so here are the four eye pencils that they sent me. These four colors. Right away, this one sticks out to me this one is beautiful it is a rose gold it's in the shade rose glow Ooh, that is really nice and then there's also matte mulberry which is almost like a burgundy-ish brown like a reddish brown which is what I'm into right now especially because of my hair so I really can't wait to try that one out then we have velvet violet which is this purple in the middle and then black blue which is this one on the end, which is also beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and open the rose gold because I really, really wanna see what this one looks like. It says rose glow, and I don't know why I kept saying rose gold. I think I was just confusing it, but it's not a rose gold. It's more of like a bronze that has like a pinky glow to it, but it's beautiful. So either way, I cannot wait to actually play around with this. And it's super, super soft. Like, it glided on like nothing. Um, the other two eye pencils they sent me were the Waterline one, and this is the Bright. So it's a brightening eyeliner and the Waterline eyeliner. So this is just in black, tightline black. And this is in nude. So to open up your eyes and to tightline, I love those. Like, I don't know if they work. That's not what I mean by I love those, but I love those types of products. Okay, so there is a mascara, the Large Lash Mascara Volumizing, and then a Black Lacquer Lash Primer, 3-in-1 Mascara Primer. I don't really use mascara primers on my eyes because, I don't know, usually the ones that I have tried before, like, clump my lashes together, plus I use false lashes a lot. So, I don't know if I'll use that, but I'll definitely test it out. It'll be in that video if I ever do one. Um, and this is also a liquid liner, which I will test out in that video. The last two things they sent me came in really, really cute boxes, so I definitely wanted to show you. Um, they sent me this a couple months ago. I haven't really gotten to play with it, but it has a little lock and key on here, which is so cute. We have the Rose Caviar Essence for all skin types. It's supposed to... Um, 
Brighten, Hydrate, Nourish, and Soften. And I cannot get this out of the box. Okay, so the Rose Caviar Essence is actually a serum. It looks like it's an encapsulated moisture serum. And it's for all skin types. You can use it morning and night after cleansing and toning. I cannot wait to try this out. My skin has been horrible. I've told you guys that so many times, but it really has been bad. And it's also been kind of dry, like oily, but then dry and flaky, which is not pretty. So I cannot wait to try this. They're making these products impossible to get out of the boxes. So the next product here is the Rose Flash Balm. It is a instant skin booster. So this is a 3 one You can use it as a primer, a moisturizer, or a mask. Like a hydrating mask. You can use it AM or PM. And yeah, it says this also is created with rose water and olive leaf extracts. So again, can't wait to try that out. I'm sure it smells amazing as well. I'm not going to smell that right now, but I'm pretty sure it smells good. So then we have the Matte Last Liquid Lipsticks. There are five of them, and these are the shade ranges right here. I'm not going to take them out. I'll probably try to take one out because it seems pretty hard to take out of this. But this is the shade range, and I'll probably put some swatches on my Instagram once I actually play around with them. But I'm just going to take this middle one right here and test it out. This claims to have full color payoff. I'm looking down because I'm actually reading the box right now. Um, they have full color payoff in a single stroke, hydrating, long wearing, and quick drying. So I think these are supposed to dry. The shade that I have right now is Pastel Petal. It's the only shade I'm going to swatch because I do want to move on to the next box. It also smells really, really good. And it's super soft. I'll definitely have to try these out. Hopefully it does dry mattes and hopefully it doesn't dry out my lips and last a while because if so, these are probably going to be like a favorite. I have a lot of favorite liquid lipsticks, but these will probably be up there if they are good. My biggest box ever came last month or two months ago and I was just in shock because this has never happened to me before with anything. This is the box right here. It doesn't even fit on screen. Like, holy crap, Pixie. This is huge. Wow. Okay, so these are actually the recent launches. I want to say they're recent from collabs with beauty creators. I don't know if you can see. These are all of them. Right here, they collaborated with Chloe Morello, Dulce Candy, and I, I don't want to butcher her name. I think her name is Whaley. I'm probably wrong, though. Either way, these three creators. So I'm going to start off with the collab with Chloe Morello. She came out with a palette Colette. I think this is a palette that's supposed to give you like a full look. And this is in the shade Romantic Radiance, which might be the only shade it comes in. But it looks like it comes with three different blushes here. And then you have maybe some brow product here and some eyeshadows here. At least that's what I'm seeing. Yes, that's exactly what it is. You have three blush shades over here. And then you have six eyeshadow shades here. And then these are brow and liner shades. All in powder formula. And that's really unique. That's a really cute palette to have kind of like... Not Obviously, not everything is in here, so you're still going to need other products, but it's still something cute to travel with, I feel like. And I'm not going to open any of these palettes that I have because I do want to save that for a different video. It also comes with this. Um, so I guess she came out with a lip product and this little face palette, eye palette thing. This is Lip Icing in the shade Cake. So it's a glittery lip gloss. That's what it looks like to me, a lip glow. This I will open. Yeah, this is this is like gold. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it is so glittery. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see that on camera, but it's super glittery. I don't usually wear glitter lip glosses, but I want to try to experiment and do things differently. So I might actually do that this time and maybe I'll play around with it, but Either way, that's cute. It's a pretty color. So next we have the partnership or the collab with Dulce Candy, which Dulce Candy is actually one of my OG YouTubers. Like way back in the day, like a couple years ago when I was getting into beauty channels. Man, has it been five years? It's probably been five years when I first 
started actually getting into beauty channels yes and she was one of the original channels that I subscribed to so yeah this is just really cool she came out with a lip palette and this is a multi-use palette which I want to say you can probably use as an eyeshadow palette um, you can use it as a face glow palette like I'm sure these actually are beautiful highlights maybe even like shimmery blushes here and like shimmery bronzers if you want to be that bold for the lip palette I'm probably not going to mess with at all I just don't I don't use lip palettes no matter what it can be the best lip palette in the world and I will use it once and then never use it again it's just who I am I'm not a huge fan of lip palettes because I never reach for them I never tend to use them so I will probably give this away either in a giveaway or to a family member because I'm, I'm not going to get any use out of it. And then last but not least, we have this. This is the collab with, I want to say her name is Weile. I don't know. It's W-E-Y-L-I-E. -E. I have never watched her channel. I don't know her content. Um, I don't know who she is. So I'll look into her now that I was sent the, these products. I would definitely want to see who she is. But either way, she came up with a dimensional eye creator kit. And it comes with an eyeshadow palette and a dual-ended eyeliner. So this is the dual-ended eyeliner here. And this is the eyeshadow kit. And it looks really, really nice from what I can tell. I'm not going to open this. Like I said, I'll save it for the other video. But it looks like it has three matte shades, which are in different browns, which are beautiful. Um, a satin shade. And then these are more shimmery. Maybe like a brow shade, like a, a brow bone highlight shade, and then like a super nice like metallic color here. Either way, it looks like it's something that can be used every day, so hopefully the color payout is good. I'll definitely play around with it in that video. I'll probably put up another poll. That way you guys can decide what you want to see, whether you want to see like a first impressions, like playing with makeup type video with Pixie, a one brand tutorial, or trying new makeup type video, or if you want to see mini reviews for all of these in one video, let me know. Um, I'll put up a poll though so you guys can decide on that. But either way, I can't wait to play around with all of these. A lot of this has been sitting underneath my makeup desk for quite some time now because I wanted to do this video for you guys so I'm just really excited to get my hands on all of this and start playing around with it. So if you guys really enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what type of products you'd like to see on this channel. If there's brands that I've never done on this channel before go ahead and comment them down below because I really want to expand and kind of try out different things. If you guys want to communicate with me in the comments just kind of say hi. I would love to see how you guys are or know how your day was and never fail to leave a suggestion if you have a suggestion. But I think that's it for this video. It's enough rambling now. Um, I'm just kind of talking about nothing now. So I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have all the products that I unboxed listed down below in case you are interested in any of them. But that is it. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.